I have a mapish brain. There's something in my head that gets very happy when I look at maps. Some would call David Rumsey a cardophile. Others just put it more bluntly. He's obsessed. Later in my life, the collecting gene, as we call it, flipped on sometime in my 30s. And Rumsey's collecting gene is strong. Over 30 years, he's accumulated more than 150,000 maps, which he kept in his San Francisco home. Many of the maps and cartographical artifacts are centuries old. I began to see maps as not just wayfinding devices, but wayfinding back into history. And that's when this whole collection was born. I began to see them as stories of historical events, of scientific progress, of survey, even of art. Now he's donated his massive collection to Stanford University. Part of the philosophy of the center is to make it as open and inviting as possible to undergraduates so that they can get the same bug that I've had for maps. The new map center is meant to be the bridge between classic mapping and modern cartography. Visitors will be able to see things like atlases that show Paris through the ages, and then use the wall-sized screen to compare the details of pairs of geo-reference maps from those different historical periods. You end up having the old map inherit the latitude and longitude of the current day surface. And once you do that with several of these maps, then you're able to layer them one on top of the other and then start looking at the changes over time. The key to having that modern access is the obsessive scanning and geo-referencing. Stanford has a 16 megapixel phase one scan back machine that shoots high detail, high resolution images of massive maps. So far, the Stanford Digital Repository has scanned 67,000 maps and each has a permanent URL that can be downloaded by anyone from anywhere in the world. Just endless hidden stories in these maps. They have to be teased out. We're gonna provide as many tools as we can to do that process. But what we hope happens is that a lot of our users will teach us how they can find things and use methods that we're not even aware of.